We're here at Gato Groove Records with Vince Luzard, and he's going to walk us through the process, both uh, what they do here, but also some of what goes on into uh, making any record. Okay, the first step to making a record is taking the audio file. In the old days, it was an analog tape that's different to space. Uh, we still, still occasionally do some of that. For, more often than not, it's a high resolution 24 bit file that we get. Uh, you might know most commercial CDs are 16 bit, so 24 bit is a better file, better range on it. That goes to the cutting engineer, loads it into his system. The cutting lathe looks like a turntable on steroids. Uh, very big cutting head on top of it. This is a lacquer disc. It's an aluminum disc coated with lacquer. This is a used one, which is why it's scratched up when using this lathe from here. But this original audio is cut by the cutting head onto the disc. Um, can I touch it? Does it feel... Oh, it does feel a bit different. It doesn't have the kind of raised uh, edges you're used to. Uh, yeah, but this is worn down. Is that down just because it's worn? Too. Okay. Lacquer disc. Uh, you can get a, a dub plate made. It's mm. just a lacquer disc. Uh, the issue with lacquer discs are they degrade very quickly. After five to eight plays, you really start to notice a difference. You really don't want to play it as part of the pressing process because because the lacquer is so soft, if it gets scratched in any way, that ultimately ends up on the finished product. Okay. So, so these are shipped very carefully, A side and the B side typically. Uh, All separate this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have to do each side separately. Uh, some customers will do a blank B side. Okay. But typically they're doing two A sides. That's shipped to a plating shop where a metal image of this is made called a mother. Uh, like the lacquer, the mother can be played. Then a negative image of that mother is made uh, with a nickel, in a nickel bath. It's called a stamp. And those are the parts we can hear. They are razors. Okay. Those go on our dies in order to make the right. Right, okay. Cool. Labels are here. Uh, labels are actually pressed on in the process. They're not glued on or adhered on. Okay. Just if you ever try to get a record label off a record, you can't do it. Yeah. That's because it's actually pressed into the vinyl. Uh, because of the ink content labels, they have to be dried for about eight hours at 270 okay. degrees or so. So we have an oven, a couple of ovens here where we dry our tables before they go into okay. press. So here's a pressing machine. Okay. Um, kind of start to finish. This is the hopper. That's where you pour the vinyl pellets. In this case, we're doing a uh, record that it asked for pink. Okay. So we've got pink vinyl. Uh, it melts at about... Color vinyl melts a little bit lower temperature. Black vinyl around 150 to 250 degrees. Uh, what's happening in the press are really three things at once. We have a biscuit being formed, the label being put on, the record being pressed, and the record being printed. So right. right now, there's a record being pressed. This one's going to be printed. You can see the, the flash back there. Right. Very cool. And if you go around the front, you can okay. see a lot. Uh, press, press release here. Oh wow. Keep the record on top. The biscuit will come forward. The other record will drop on the trimmer table and go back. Oh wow. We'll make another record. That's great. running five presses today. So these are all doing pretty much what that's doing? Probably the same thing. Uh, this is a little different because it's a different brand of press. Okay. Essentially the process is the same. Awesome. Uh, this press is 180 grams. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Every 25th record we play the lead-ins and lead-outs, and then we look at the other 24, stack them, and the process just continues. You know, okay. The job is cool. So we're constantly listening and looking to the records. The quality guys look at every record, and the people in packing look at every record before they're Oh, great. Could we go look at the? Uh, is there a quality room you can take us to? Okay, okay, cool. So. How much time, so is someone dedicated to this job where they'll actually sit in this room and, and listen to, it's more than just listening, I'm guessing, right? Or no? 
Well, it's listed in visually it's back so you know, okay. every twenty fifth record he'll play the lead ins and lead outs. Okay. And then after he, and while he's doing that he'll examine the rest. Okay. Put them in the restack then just let the record play and then go to the next, you know, job that he's working on. So yeah, it's a very it's a constant okay, you know, all cool. day long sort of thing. And then, are there folks that actually then sort of stuff the records into the jackets and stuff that come from the printers? Is that a well, separate? Right, that's what's happening out here. Oh, yeah, sure, it's okay. All out here. Okay. So, there's a shrink rat machine. Uh, right now, I know they're getting ready to start shrink wrapping this Best Coast 7 inch. Going off and see 7 inches shrink wrap, but this is a double 7 inch. It's a pretty nice cover. Yeah. Was there anything, any sort of process I forgot to ask about, or anything really that you just I mean, want to show folks? If you're interested, these are etched records, so sometimes customers will do, you know, they have oh, enough music yeah. for one side, they'll decide to get the other side etched sure. yes, with artwork. So, uh, Look at that one. That's very cool. Well, Vince, thank you so much for, for letting me in on this process, and I uh, look forward to uh, bringing my project here. So are we?